Hi, if you are tuning in for this video, which I'm assuming you are because you want to see the results or the comparisons or about jet match or whatever, it's about to start. However, um, this is not it. I mean, it's coming up, but the reason why you see me with the shirt is because when you see me with the shirt is because there were a few things in that video after I did it that I noticed I was like, mm, that maybe, maybe, just maybe came out wrong. I watched the video and I was like, eh, yeah, there's a couple of things which I want to go ahead and explain because it got a little bit like, some things just really didn't make sense. So if you see me wearing the shirt, that means that uh, I'm explaining something and or I am commenting or, on something or I am correcting something. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions about it, please leave a comment below and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions if I have the answer. <laughs> okay, so enjoy the video. Hello, I'm back. Hi. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, I, this video is a continuation um, on some things that I found out about my family and uh, results from DNA tests, uh, from my 23andMe DNA test. The last video that I did was about my results from Ancestry DNA. And after I did that video, I thought, what the hell, I got a couple of bucks left. Let me go ahead and get the one from 23andMe. So I did. I took it. Um, and I also uploaded that information onto Jedmatch and onto other companies, um, DNA Land, Gen Cove, um, My Heritage. Those were free, okay? Because I'm like, you know, I've already spent too much money on this mess. Um, and the reason why I did that is because I'm, there's still some information about my family that I have not really been able to find. Uh, so I figured, hopefully, you know, this kind of stuff will work. After I did my test through Ancestry DNA, a bunch of people reached out to me, distant relatives from all different parts of the world and stuff like that. So hooking up with them, no, not hooking up with them, but like getting to know them and stuff like that, um, I really was able to like go back on my family tree like another like 150 more years back. So that, that was actually pretty cool. And I found out some information about my family. Some of it very, very, very exciting. And some of it, um, I don't want to say depressing, but a little bit of an eye opener. And I had to come to Jesus with this one in that the mistakes or decisions that people make in the past really have nothing to do with you and you're not responsible for them. So whatever I'm going to say now about, you know, certain ancestors, uh, they have nothing to do with me. And uh, I'm not, you know, talking trash about anybody. Okay. Anyway, so I got my results, right? Okay through 23andMe. How different are the estimates from Ancestry DNA and 23andMe, at least in my case? Repeat after me. Not much. <laughs> they were not that different. There were a couple of variations. Um, for instance, 23andMe said that I had more European DNA than, um, than Ancestry DNA said. Okay. Um, however, one thing that was like constant was my Native American DNA. Uh, my Native American DNA with all these different companies has been pretty consistent in that it's been somewhere between 17% and 19%. For instance, Ancestry DNA said that was 18% Native American or that, excuse me, that I had 18% DNA from Native Americans. Um, whereas 23andMe said that I had 18.5%. That's pretty close. That's really close. Um... So that was really cool. Um, so anyway, so that's that. Um, what else did I find out about my family? Um, by talking to different people that I have met. Um, like I said, I took the tree back even further. I found out, for instance, um, that this is new information. Old information about my family is in the other video, okay? About my Native American family from Venezuela. Um, about the region of Spain where part of my family is from. Um, and, uh, so with, um, with my new results, I found out that I have been vacationing for the past five years in an area where my family's fa where my father's family originally is from in the Southern part of Spain. I actually honeymooned in that area without even knowing it. Okay. I went to this plaza there in this area of Spain in the Southern part of Spain. And I even have this stupid ass picture of myself going like this in this plaza. Turns out that. 
probably this plaza is named after an ancestor of mine. And I'm like, are you kidding me? We own a plaza? I was like, dang. Okay, this is really, really, really cool. I'm like, oh, where's my money? Okay, anyway, so I found out about that in Spain. I also found out that uh, I'm part Dutch as well, which that didn't show up in my DNA, but it shows up in my family tree that I am part Dutch, which I love me some Holland. I love Holland. I love hollandaise sauce. Um, Holland is a great country. It's super, super, super cool. And I'm going to go, dang, wow, that's really interesting. So, you know, I highly recommend this mess. And I really recommend also talking to people. You know, when you see your matches pop up, nicely, nicely, <laughs> email them, you know, ask them for information and stuff like that. And don't feel like you're being a mooch because nine times out of 10, they also need you. They need your information. You also have something to, to give back to them. Um, I feel really good about myself in that um, with all these discoveries, I three different people, three different people, okay? reached out to me because they were adopted and I was actually able to help out two of them find their biological families. I'm like going, wow, okay, I may actually get to heaven. So this was act so this has been really, really, really cool. So anyway, so that's the kind of stuff that I found out about my family. Now, about the last video, something really weird happened in my last video in that every sixth or seventh comment was about how British I looked or how Irish I looked um, because also in, in my ancestry DNA um, results or estimates, I should say, I need to call them estimates. It said that I was 13% um, British, 2% Irish. And everybody commented on it that I look so much like a Brit or I, even this one Irish guy was like going, no, you look like one of us. And I'm like going, I don't even think about that. I had never really thought about it. Well, here's the deal. Um, as I dug further um, in my family, um, it's kind of uncomfortable to talk about it because I'm actually talking about somebody else's private life, but they're all dead. Um, here's the deal. My grandmother um, was raised by her mother and this man that she was told was her father. We're going to call him number one, okay? She was raised by her mom and this one guy, okay? Number one. He left sometime when, when she was in her teens. He left the family. I don't know where he went. Never saw the family again. And her mother, my great-grandmother, said to my grandmother, he wasn't your father anyway, okay? Your dad is that guy, number two, all right? So she, my grandmother met number two maybe like three times in her life, okay? Um, in 1957, he actually adopted her, you know, like gave her his name officially before he passed away. So this whole time, we have thought that this guy, number two, was her father. Well, going through Ancestry DNA and checking out people and looking at my links without getting too detailed about this, if you, you know what I'm talking about, it turns out that when I found this man's family or his descendants, brothers, sisters, whatever you want to call it, I do not share DNA with them. So apparently my grandmother went to her grave thinking that number two was her father when in fact he wasn't. It looks as if her real father, biological father, was the first guy, the guy that actually raised her. I hope I have not confused you. You can always rewind. And this guy that raised her, his last name, is most common in Great Britain and the northern part of France. Um, I guess what you'd call Normandy or whatever. So for those of you who commented a lot about how British I looked or how Irish I looked, um, that, that, that may be it. Um, and uh, I guess I may have found my grandmother's father, um, unfortunately, two years after her death, um, but um, yeah, crazy stuff you find out, right? Okay, I know that my face just then made it seem as if I was disappointed uh, that uh, my great-grandfather may have been at least um, half British, okay? 
Uh, that's not the case. I am not disappointed by that whatsoever. No, I think it's lovely. I think it's great. I think the British people are great people. Um, no, I think it's I think it's really, 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 really cool. Um, I if I if my face looked like I was disappointed or sad or whatever it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the fact that my grandmother went to her grave believing a lie and that kind of makes me sad for her um and i also told her before she passed away that i was going to go ahead and find her real father and she passed away a couple of years ago um so that's why my face looked a little bit disappointed also the fact that for years as it seems i have been chasing the wrong man because it turns out he's not my great grandfather anyway and i have to admit that really chapped my ass anyway Back to the whole thing with DNA. So that's what I found out about my family, all right? So back to the whole DNA thing and what I did. Anyway, so I uploaded my information onto GEDmatch, all right? Um, Google it. I don't even know what the hell GEDmatch is. Okay, here's the deal with this GEDmatch company, okay? GEDmatch is the company that was used to find the Golden Gate Killer, all right? So when I found out about that, I was like going, ooh, I don't want to get involved with this Jed Match business, you know, because, you know, what if there's like skeletons in the closet? <laughs> closet behind me. Um, <laughs> stupid. Okay. No, anyway, um, I was, you know, a little bit leery about that. It's like, do I really want my all my information out there for this Jed Match company? And then I really started thinking about it and I was like, no, if I have some cousin that's up raping people and killing folks left and right. Yeah, catch the motherfucker. I, no, I don't want that on my conscience, you know? So don't go off raping people and, you know, committing crimes because there's Jedmatch, okay? Jedmatch is this company that, you know, it's got, like, all these different things on it. And you can find out, like, for instance, if your parents are related, mine are not related. It can tell you, for instance, um, your eye color. Like, okay, my eyes are blue. Big deal, all right? Yep, the machine that Jedmatch said my eyes were blue. Um... And um, what else did it tell you? Oh, yeah, well, you know, it gives you, like, the estimates of your ethnicity. And it gives you a bunch of pie charts. And you got to look at all of them and then average them out, okay? So that's what I did. Like, one lonely afternoon here, you know, in my apartment, I went ahead and thought, what the hell? Let me go ahead and do this. So I took, for instance, let me go ahead and take, for example, um, one region, okay? I took my sub-Saharan African region to compare. Now... Ancestry DNA said that I was 8% Sub-Saharan African, okay? 5% from Mali, and then the other three regions were like only 1% each. Now, some people, there are two camps to all of this, okay? Some people say that um, anything that's under 5% is considered noise. That's what they call it. Um, and that you really should not pay attention to it because it's kind of like they don't really know. They give you the estimate, but they're not really sure. They just don't want to get in trouble. So here you go, right? Anyway, um, so that's that, okay? Ancestry DNA said 5% Mali, and then the other 3%, 1% here, 1% there, 1% there, that kind of stuff, right? And um, what, do you, what do you call it? Um, 23andMe also gave me 8.1% Sub-Saharan African. Isn't that crazy? They were like so similar. And their largest percentage was for West Africa, I believe it was 6.5%, okay? And then the rest, 0.2% here, 0.5% there, whatever. So here's what I did, all right? I followed what the people that um, call it noise do. I got rid of anything that was under um, 5%. Okay, when it comes to like sort of like getting rid Getting rid, you know, just putting aside, I should say, the the percentages that are less than 5%. I did that with all of my regions, okay? Not just Sub-Saharan African. I did that with all of them just to get um, something more exact, if you will. Um, but I simply used my Sub-Saharan African as an example, also because it was, it was like my lowest um, estimate. Um, so I just used that as an example for the video. But the truth is, I did it with all of the regions. Um, so 5% from Mali from over here um, at 23andMe because my heritage said that I was only like 4.4% African, Sub-Saharan African. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm more than that. I got to have more than that. I'm from the Caribbean. Don't take my shit away. All right. Okay. Anyway, that's my heritage with their punk ass results. I didn't like them. I didn't like them. I just whatever. Anyway. So I took my 5% Sub-Saharan African from, um, Ancestry DNA, 6.5% from, what do you call it, uh, 23andMe, right? So I'm figuring I am somewhere between 
5% and 6.5% Sub-Saharan African because the rest is noise. Now, mind you, the other camp says, no, you should take uh, into consideration every single percentage, even the negative percentages. Look at everything. Well, I looked at everything, all right? But I want to go ahead and focus on the larger stuff, right? So I uploaded all my mess onto GEDmatch just to see what they have to say. And lo and behold, GEDmatch says that I'm about 6.75% Sub-Saharan African. So I'm like, okay. That's kind of cool that they can really narrow it down, okay? So the 4.4 from over there at uh, MyHeritage, that's too low. The 8%, you know, that the other company is saying, that may be a little bit too high, but the 6.75%, that's actually closer to the 8. So I'm like, okay, this makes sense because looking at my other results, um, remember when I mentioned the Native American didn't change between the two companies? Um, it was between 18% and 18.5%. That stayed constant with GEDmatch. GEDmatch said that I was like between 17 and 18% Native American. And I'm like, okay, this actually is kind of cool, all right? So if you've done your test, okay, whether you've done one or 15, whatever, upload your stuff to GEDmatch. They've got a bunch of really interesting information. Not only will you get more um, exact estimates for your ethnicity um but they have got all these people um that i've tested with all the different companies okay and you can hook up with them even if they have not tested with your company so that's what i did i've been contacting people and uh some people have been really 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 helpful there have been some people who have been real jerks okay i'm just gonna go ahead and put it out there because it's friday afternoon and i don't even care anymore all right. But yeah, but most of the time, most people have been super, super, super nice because they also want to know more about their family. And they probably think that you've got some clue or some key that they don't have. And chances are you do. So God love them, you know, all about sharing information. And um, yeah. So anyway, that's about it. Yeah. So I hope I kind of explained some of my reactions from that video. I hope that made sense. I hope this video wasn't too long and I hope at least you found it either entertaining or educational or I don't know what. But uh, but I hope, you know, with this shirt, um, I was able to go ahead and explain a few things which maybe, you know, in, in the other video came out a little bit wrong, you know. So, but anyway, if you have questions, comments, whatever, be nice. And comment below and I'll be happy to answer you. Take care. Bye.